Live from Orlando, Florida, extracting the signal from the noise, it's theCUBE, covering Enterprise Connect 2016. Brought to you by Oracle ZDLRA, Vonage, and Cafe X. Now, your hosts, John Furrier and Peter Zontazanio. Hello everyone, we are here on the ground. This is theCUBE at Enterprise Connect 2016. I'm John Furrier, the founder of SiliconANGLE. I'm here with Rami Muzalam, who's the CEO of Cafe X. Welcome to theCUBE. Hey John, thanks for having me at theCUBE. Uh, Cafe X, you guys are introducing new technology, Chime. But before we get started, talk about the company. What is Cafe X about? So Cafe X, you know, the premise of Cafe X is really delivering new experiences, both customer experiences and workforce experiences to our customers. And we really truly want to change the way our enterprise customers collaborate and deliver product and services to their customers. So, you know, in a nutshell, that's what Cafe X is about, and that's a value proposition that we've taken to the market. Unified communications is an industry that's under transformation, it's under transition, it's being disrupted and disrupting itself, but also it's the center point for the collaboration market, which is now kind of blended in with the consumer experience now in the enterprise. A big shift and a new lift for the entire industry. What is this collaboration? What is this unified communications collaboration digital transformation story really about? So, so the digital transformation story and every one of our customers want to strive for is the ability to simply drive new products and services and capability, mobilize a workforce to deliver products and services to their customers. And that's really what we've really um, delivered to our marketplace and what Chime is doing. So for example, you know, we make together happen, and with simplicity what that means is we're removing all the barriers so for a customer to succeed in that effort. So whether it's no downloads, we, we get a tick on that box. Whether it's using uh, real-time communications and the ability to across all web, web platforms, that's another tick in the box we get. But more so, it's not just delivering a slick application, but it's the ability to change the dynamics on how those experiences are delivered via video, chat, uh, vo voice, collaboration, uh, document share, so forth and so on, in a very simple way, and changing the dynamics on how that payload of videos being delivered within that enterprise. It's interesting, you know, you mentioned a slew of technologies. In the old days, that would be the individual apps. In some cases, you're seeing some people just standalone apps. There's a trend towards integration right now, and how does that impact the customer? Because at the end of the day, the customer, your customer, this impacts them, and how does that impact their job? What a customer wants to simply do is do a click to, and in a way they go. They want to mobilize a workforce, collaborate, produce a product and service, and provide it to their customers. And what we do is we've simplified that process taking away all the complexity around how do you build, deliver this capability, whether it's a, based on video, whether it's based on chat, so forth and so on. It's a simple click-to process. We've enabled it within all web platforms to connect into both telepresence rooms and the ability to collaborate across their enterprise. And we're truly doing this differently than anybody else because we figured out how to deliver video in a different way. One of the big complaints I hear from people when I talk about unified communications and collaborations is that, and the story I get, especially with telepresence and video, it's like, you know, it's like the VCR problem. It's always blinking and it's always an eye. Where's the <laughs> IT guy when you need him? Right now, this one click is really a big deal. That is important. Are you seeing that same pattern in your customer base? That need to do things with one click, no IT involvement? It's, it's moving away from that fixed infrastructure move into this room to collaborate versus being mobile and the desktop and applying that capability via one click no matter where you are and doing it in such a way that's very easy. And easy from a standpoint of no infrastructure, how do you minimize the infrastructure build out, how, the management of the infrastructure, provide this rich capability to not only to your employees, but also who are advisors in the company, but also to your business customers and partners. And this notion of one click and standing things up, these are cloud terms. You see Amazon has the one click buying thing, but standing up resources gets, uh, makes it sound easy, but more importantly, it's time to value. People use the cloud to stand stuff up, to iterate and be agile, to get to value. That is really the key trend right now, and you guys are introducing Chime technology and Chime. What is that all about? And how does that fit into this, this demand or the table stakes of standing stuff up easily? So we wanted to make it very simple, one. So it's not only a slick application, but two, the ability to do a click to and not have our customers worry about building media firms, firewall, firewall traversals. All that is really simply done where you don't have to invest significant investments. The other thing, it's investment protection in the telepresence uh, infrastructure that you already have. So the ability to coexist in what you have and to build added uh, capability as well as experiences on top of that infrastructure is critically important. The, th the third piece of that is one, one platform to not only enable these rich collaboration experiences from a workforce perspective, but provide that, more importantly, to your business customers and partners. 
that's the richness of time, and that's richness of making together happen. Um, you guys, last year, it says here you had a significant investment from Intel. Give us an update on the relationship. What is the Intel relationship with Cafe X? Yeah, so Intel is, you know, has a broad relationship. So not only are they an investor in the company, but also working closely with several of their engineering organizations in, in, on their Skylake platform. So Skylake is their sixth generation uh, pr platform, but more importantly is not only do you drive the video graphics that they've invested in, but how to collaborate on top of what we're doing within WebRTC, taking our various communication stacks and embedding them in the Intel value proposition to their OEMs and, their, more importantly, their customers. So now we have a rich capability that can go out with the Intel platform on, on various use cases, including workforce experiences and collaboration, as well as customer experience. Yesterday, WebRTC was trending on Twitter and was a big part of the conversation here at Embrace Connect. Why is that trending? What's so important about WebRTC? Isn't that an old technology? How is it relevant? And what's the impact to the collaboration space? The impact is, is the simplicity of WebRTC to, to be able to provide you know, richness of voice, video, co-browse within a web browser. Uh, what we've done is we've really um, you know, taken down the barriers of, of WebRTC by all the different platforms and really done innovative things like dynamic loading of video codecs to really go to a, a, a capability where our customers don't have to worry about media farms, whether it's being delivered in the private or public cloud. The simplicity of delivering this capability, or the promise of WebRTC, isn't there today, but we are delivering that through, uh, through Chime. You know, I want to ask you a question because I think this is kind of uh, um, systematic of the industry right now is that you, know, you hear about things like, oh, cloud, land and expand, be agile. Big companies want to be like small companies and small companies want to be like big companies. So you know, it's the old expression, small company, <laughs> we should act like a big company. But in technology, you want to move fast. That means feel like a small company. You guys have a great solution for SMB, small, medium-sized businesses and enterprises up to the big guys. Sure. That is, the, that is the, the, the requirement. How do you guys see that evolving for you guys? What is the, the benefit to, to having a small, medium-sized feel to a solution in terms of simplicity and deployment, but yet how does it become enterprise grade at the same time? That's very important, and, and our platform scales to hundreds and thousands and millions of sessions. And, but at the same time, we want to enable businesses that aren't that large to have that value proposition and carry that, that business value to their customers. So it has to be simple. It has to be, come with it, an ability not to ta tackle on all this infrastructure build out to provide this capability. It's like you said, one click. One click to bring this capability and this business value and relevance to our customers. And partners. Uh, take us through a day in the life of your job. What are you guys working on today? What are some of the things that you're managing at Cafe X? What are some of the challenges? Obviously a big push here at Enterprise Connect. What's the big uh, focus for you as in, inside Cafe X right now? I, I think I have a dream CEO job from a standpoint. I have a great executive team and more importantly, I get a chance to work and talk to our customers all the time. And really what you see with Chime is really the thought process and the value that they wanted in a one-click application. So just bringing that to market right now is extremely exciting and rewarding to see uh, you know, our customers working with us on what they want and us delivering this capability to the marketplace. Right Share now. with the audience some examples you got on the road all the time. Um, what's it like at a customer environment? What are the conversations that you're involved in with customers? And what do they care about? What are the things that are on their mind? Can you be specific? That'd be great. Well, one of the things that you know, is challenging to our customers, we primarily play in the global 2000 space um, and the, you know, the Fortune 1000. And within that, you know, a lot of employees a lot of, lot of capability as far as uh, what products and services. Significant challenges on how do you bring that to market. And that's within the infrastructure build out of those enterprises as well as providing it to their uh, business partners and customers. One of the things that we did with Chime was just made it simple as I mentioned. And the ability for CIOs, CTOs to take to this value proposition to their organization independent of what web platform, independent of what mobile platform. The ability to mobilize their workforce to provide this capability is in increasingly important to them, and that's what they see the value in us. Rami, share what is Chime. Give the 101. What's Chime 101? So Chime is the ability for us to provide a digital experience, uh, one click through any web, pl web platform and, and any collaboration that coexists within a telepresence, capa uh, telepresence infrastructure for any environment. What we do is provide that web desktop capability of access, but the second thing that we do is provide the mobility aspect of it all, which is very important to our customers. They, they don't want to necessarily 
walk into a telepresence room, but they need to access the telepresence room and everything else. So that is some of the capability and the richness that we're providing from a UC and collaboration perspective. You know, everyone knows telepresence. They think of Cisco and they think of the big boardrooms. You know, but a lot of those things just don't go and get installed. I mean, maybe because the CEO and some of the bigger companies, <laughs> they install it. And there's some demand for like on a high end, but the average uh, telepresence now, you're seeing Snapchat, you're seeing the consumer technologies, really taking video and photography to, to the mainstream. So how people are working are different. The future of work is real time. Not the big setups, not the big fancy solutions. It's just got to work, and and that's the big trend. Are you guys tapping into that? And what would you say to folks who just say, "Hey, I just want the stuff to work"? You hit it on the head, you know, nail on the head. And from a standpoint, it has to work, but more importantly, it has to be simple. It it can't it can't come with the traditional way. I got to build out a huge infrastructure, a huge firewall traverse. Uh, you know, you know, from a firewall perspective to handle my mobility requirements handle all the video traffic within enterprise. These are some of the inhibitors that have challenged CIOs and CI CTOs to enable this experience within their enterprise. We get a tick in the box, we solve all that. And in solving all that, we're allowing our customers to deliver this business value. And it's been rewarding. It's been rewarding to see our customers succeed and you know us succeed with them. So I got to ask final question. What is uh, unified communications as a service? It's a big buzzword. I mean, obviously the web, being agile, doing DevOps, doing mobile development is about making things easy and so developers don't need to understand complexities. And certainly everything as a service is a buzzword. But specifically unifi unified communications as a service, what does that mean? It's been the ability for, you know, um, you know, companies to provide a service and reduce the complexities, but often those complexities come out of the price and that you need to, you know, subscribe to a service and might, from a security and compliance perspective, it might not adhere to everything. So it doesn't, one size does not fit all, all and what, that's what we're seeing with our capability. So we will provide it as a service, but at the same time you can consume it within your enterprise as you wish. And that's really important from um, our customer perspective. Okay, final, final question. What's going on at the show here? The big push, I'll see Chime. What's going on at the show and what's next for Cafe X for we, you? It's been really exciting. You know, uh, you know, from a, from a show standpoint, we've, uh, we've announced our new brand as well. So making together happen. And really, it's really bringing people together. Ideas come together, but more importantly, those ideas become uh, real value propositions into, for their markets and their customers. And that's what we're seeing here. We're seeing excitement around making together happen. Uh, and they're seeing excitement about Chime being the mechanism of making that happen as well. Well, certainly we're here at the Cube. We see this marketplace explode and we think this is going to be a big run, big inflection point. It's going to be the hockey stick growth. What's next for you guys and the company? Any, any specific goals, uh, opportunities you guys see in the, in the next year or so? Well, you know, the goal for, for Cafe X has always been be close to our customers and continue to drive innovation and within that innovation, see our customers succeed with our, with our platform. So we will continue to invest in innovation, drive our value proposition to the marketplace, and see our customers succeed. That's, that's the rewarding piece of all of this. Rami, CEO of Cafe X, we're here on the ground at Enterprise Camp. This is theCUBE. We'll be right back with more after this short break.